Les changements climatiques m'affectent en créant une incertitude face à l'avenir qu'on va avoir en tant que génération. Beyond the ongoing uh, onslaught of extreme weather events that I hear about, it seems on a daily basis, every day what's closest to my heart is the thought and strong desire to have children accompanied by the terror to do so and the world that I would be bringing them into. Um, I am a child of like migrants who came to Canada. So my parents um, came to Canada because they felt that there was not enough resources in the Philippines to sustain a livelihood for their family. And people are needing to leave en masse because they are dispossessed from the resources that rightly belong to them. Climate change is what drives me to get up every day and work as hard as I do. There's not really a way to avoid it. You have to think about it every day. Canada is supposed to be a leader and we've been the biggest fossil and the biggest sore thumb in terms of environmental negotiations for, I mean, the better part of a decade. We are constantly asking our government to show up and to have our voice represented and no one's doing that for us. That's a huge challenge for us is to make sure that they know that they're representing us and to know that they need to do a better job. We, we deserve better. Hey Canada and the Earth, I think we deserve better. We deserve better. Nous méritons mieux. Le gouvernement canadien peut cesser d'encourager les projets d'exploitation liés aux énergies sales et aux hydrocarbures parce que on mérite mieux. I think we as migrants, first, second, third generation migrants from global south countries who have come to Canada, we deserve a lot better. All Canadians and all people on this planet, we deserve Happy-hearted in the warmth, thank you inside these bones.